This is the story of Jeff Lane, former McMurray College baseball player, and his new team for life. Oh, I remember being very nervous. I was like, not sure what to think. They kind of gave us some ideas and it could be this, it could be that. I don't think Jeff did a whole lot of research on that. I was on the computer right away trying to figure out what they were talking about. And I was very nervous because I didn't know how he would take it if it was true. So it was kind of just one of those nerve wracking experiences. Um, and they actually, they kind of told us that and then we had to wait just like three months before we actually made it into a doctor. They told us to kind of look for a So we um, ended up going to Cleveland Clinic in Ohio where Dr. Fiora was, who was supposed to be one of the leaders in ALS. And went out there and they told us that they were pretty certain that's what it was. Well, we both still work, so he um, gets to work from home. He works for the Department of Natural mm -hmm. Resources, so that's pretty awesome. And usually in the morning we have nurses that come and help because I have to leave for work, so they get here. Um, he usually does his job most of the day. They do his normal stretches, his daily routine, and then in the afternoons a lot of times it's running after children. So we have kids that all play sports, all three of them. So he goes to most of their games and stuff. We got baseball, basketball, volleyball, taekwondo, softball. I can't say I don't know what I would be without going to McMurray College. I have been blessed with my wife, who I met there. She has been my biggest supporter in my rock, and also the criminal justice department, Kay Henriksen, who believed in me. She helped me achieve my dream job as a conservation police officer or game warden. I am so grateful for McMurray College. Coach Tomlin's reaching out to my Lincoln College. Coach Tony Thomas. So I went to visit McMurray and see what they were about. During my visit, I met several players. One player, Merrick Edgar, asked me if I was any good. My response was, I am God and I am here to save your season. Lane helped the Highlanders to back-to-back -back SLIAC regular season and tournament championships and was named to the all-region tournament team in both 1996 and 97. In his two years as a Highlander, he helped the team to a 71-25 overall record, winning a program record 36 games in 1997. So my favorite memory was going to NCAA tournament and hitting Grand Slam. However, I had my worst memory food poisoning for a championship game. We were able to have two of the greatest years in school history. I had the privilege of playing with some other great players. We had great pitchers who were able to command the strike zone. We also had an outstanding head coach, Tom Lentz, 
who should be in the Mac Murray College Hall of Fame. He has the most wins in school history. Historic births into the NCAA tournament. And then there's the sports complex, which he built in Jacksonville, where kids from all over the country come to play baseball. When our oldest hit kindergarten, we knew it was going to be kind of odd with dad coming to school and they kind of wonder about them. We'd already been to some t-ball games and found it interesting when the kids would just kind of stare, decide whether or not it was Terminator or if you actually see them or not. So um, we did. We wrote a book that kind of just covered, you know, all of Dad's machinery, all of Dad's equipment, um, just kind of give them a brief rundown of this is Dad and this is what he's like and that he's normal like everybody else. I always tell them it's team efforts. In our house, there's not a thing you can't really do a whole lot by yourself. So, you know, with Dad, it's always somebody's got to step up and help out, you know, whether we're going somewhere in the car, whether we're getting him out of bed and moving on. I always have had great support from everyone. My cousin surprised me, showed up in Cleveland after my diagnosis. Support was great. My friends and family have had benefits. We also get support from the Les Turner Foundation. We do a walk for life as Lane's walk and ducks. I know we really believe in the Western Foundation that we support just because they have done a lot for us. So not only do they do research, they do a lot of support to families. So they take a lot of that funding as well to give back, you know, help you get a van, help you get a wheelchair, help you get communication devices. So, I mean, I think that's just as important. The research is important, but supporting those families because it's tough and this stuff's important. <laughs> I mean, I'm living the best life, and as technology advances, my quality of life gets better. It's also important people know how hard the living with ALS, but if you persevere, Work hard than never give up anything is possible. Your attitude towards this awful disease makes all different. In addition, a loving family and friends who support me has helped. Although I cannot do anything physically, I'm still mentality strong minded. Thus, with the advantage of computer based technology, I can live a fairly good life. 